Hi guys, welcome back to the news. It seems that our Nigerian police, they now seek to go after comedians, skit makers over some alleged abuse of uh, uniforms in skit. Now, the Nigerian police seek to arrest and persecute the popular comedian QT Abiola over the abuse of police uniform in skit. And I know that the uh, majority of Nigerians have found this issue overrated, being that uh, the police seems to be chasing after shadows and living pressing issues. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Nigerian police force has vowed to investigate and persecute Abiola, popularly known as Cute Abiola, for allegedly disrespecting the police uniforms in comedy skits. A statement issued by the police force relations officer, Ade Jobi, on Thursday said that the comedian violated the provisions of the law with regards to the use of uniforms. Now, in as much as the law grants Nigerians the right to enjoy their fundamental human rights, the same law prohibits any individual under whatever guise from rubbishing the police institution or grossly violating its provisions with regards to the use of uniforms. The police thereby condemned the contemptuous act displayed by the comedian Abiola, popularly known as Cute Abiola, in two recent skits posted on his social media handles on the 20th and on the 24th July 2023. The skits in question showed a highly disrespectful portrayal of the police uniform, an action that is in direct violation of Section 251 of the Criminal Code and Section 133 of the Penal Code Law. Such acts are not only offensive, but also undermine the integrity and the dignity of the men and women who wear the uniform in service to the nation. Now, Abiola will be investigated and possibly persecuted for his deliberate acts as the NPF had already warned skit makers and film makers to desist from desecrating its uniform. The force is committed to holding the sanity of the uniform and will, and will pursue due legal process to ensure accountability for any individual or entity that seeks to bring this repute to the uniform or the institution it represents. We call on all members of the public, including media personalities, to exercise their freedom of expression and responsibly and avoid engaging in actions that would erode public trust in our reverend law enforcement institution. Well, my country people, this is coming from the Nigerian police force. You know, Q Tabiola is not new to controversy. In 2021, this comedian was declared missing by his fellow comedian, uh, Mr. Macaroni, who shared the news on his official Twitter account. And then the message said the last time was cute Abiola's wife and associates heard from him was on November 15th, 2021. However, the Nigerian Navy shared a press release stating that he was arrested and not missing. They noted that the skit maker was under investigation for breaching the armed force social media rule policy in the use of the social media platforms now my country people the nigerian navy had you know uh, released a statement that then 
when uh, Mr. Macroni shared a post that uh, Kuta Biola was missing, that no, 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 he wasn't missing, but he was arrested and he was detained for over two weeks. After he was released, the Navy spokesperson said that Kuta Abiola knowingly violated the armed force social media policy but was given a light punishment of one month extra duty when he was tried for misconduct and discipline. So my country people, the law is the law. But then people tend to see that there are more pressing issues that uh, are at stake, you know, there are more pressing issues on ground. The Nigerian police need to chase after those each issues and not chasing after shadows. But then these are reactions from Nigerians. Make them police rest a beg. They have 1,001 issues to deal with. Using their uniforms to entertain should be the least of their worries. If the police catch you this period, Unaon don't finish you. Wisdom demands that you apply for permission first. If approved, then you can go ahead. Can you imagine? The police is doing nothing than to arrest and persecute all its personnel that have desecrated the uniforms much more than the comedian has. Now, it is that is that a police uniform? The truth cannot be abused. This guy is a multiple example. So, my country people, these are reactions from Nigerians. So, guys, what are your thoughts on this issue? You see, most of these comedians, they tend to portray the true image of most Nigerian policemen. They tend to portray their characters. They tend to portray what they do on a daily basis. Now, you see that uh, most, uh, in most of their skits, they tend to show where our Nigerian police always resorts to collecting bribery and extortion fees. They just show the activities of our Nigerian police. But then the fact that they are using the Nigerian police uniforms to make skit, that is where the problem is coming from. But then my country people, what are your thoughts on this? Personally, if the Nigerian police said, well, you don't have to use their uniform, it's a form of disrespect. But then we see that the same uniform are used to perpetrate evil, whereby the Nigerian policemen they tend to, you know, go violent on citizens, open her arms on citizens, results to violence and, you know, it doesn't really blend well with my country people. So the thing is, recently, uh, a very prank, I think a skit maker who specializes in prank was recently released when he was arrested for playing a prank. So the our Nigerian police now tends to go after skit makers. But then my country people, you know that uh, we are in Nigeria and uh, everything seems to be very, very different. But then if the police say, well, they have to take uh, permission before they go ahead to use their uniforms, then I think we just have to look into this. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think that, yes, our Nigerian police should concentrate more on pressing issues than going after skit makers? I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section. Thank you.